lot of people refer to WPW as a short circuit type of mechanism of the heart, and if you did an, a cardiogram at a visit, there's no guarantee you would even see it. Is that true? Well, if, if patients uh, with WPW, uh, the diagnosis is typically made on an on a EKG, an electrocardiogram. But is it always found at every visit? No. Uh, it may, may be intermittent in nature, but uh, uh, in, in that case, when it's intermittent, it's not uh, considered to be life-threatening. So in other words, if you do a cardiogram and it's consistently there, that's a much bigger red flag than you see it at occasion. Is that true? Yes. If, I mean, if you see it the first time, then there's a whole series of other tests that I would typically do, including a halter monitor, which is essentially a 24-hour EKG to see if it's persistent throughout the day. And if it is, then uh, have the child, if they're old enough, undergo an exercise uh, treadmill or bicycle test to see if, it, if the WPW persists at higher heart rates. And if these things are true, then the patient may be at higher risk and would require more invasive testing and potentially a procedure to, uh, to get rid of this extra connection.